Hey, any fish. It's the 5th of November, 2017, and uh, yeah, I woke up early, and this was right on my mind again. It's put upon me to just attempt to articulate what this is saying. And this webpage here, link in description, is literally telling the whole story of mankind. <laughs> And I laugh. It's true. This is Satan's billboard. This is his full page ad, if you will. And it's literally telling his plan of what he is doing with humanity. And he's coming close to bringing it to fulfillment. The iPhone X. Okay, X10 you could look at it as. That's what Apple tells us. They skipped over the 9 for the iPhone. That was weird, but, you know, I digress. That's not really what I'm talking about here. The X itself. That's Lucifer's plan. That's the representation of Satan right here. Baphomet. The sexless goat man. Okay? That's what he is. Now, they don't depict it in that one because they thought that would be offensive to people to put boobs on the Baphomet. But that's what he is. Okay, you got to understand that. Notice where the little caduceus is, the two snakes. Their tails cross and form the X right at the groin. Because humans have a certain reproductive system. It's a DNA thing. I'm not talking about a serpent seed per se. Because we're talking about a supernatural level here. This, this is not the same world as we had in the garden. This was a supernatural situation here. Okay? These were supernatural bodies. Notice how they portray the serpent as a man. Okay? That beguiled Eve. This is all history, folks. All history. And, there, and we can get into the whole fruit, the whole thing. It's all here. It takes a thorough study and an open mind. And, you know, don't be blocked by doctrine that... I'm not saying your doctrine isn't true. It's just little pieces that are missing. When God put enmity between the serpent seed and the woman, that's not talking about, like, a literal, like, seed, an egg or sperm or anything. He's talking about a supernatural thing. It's a hostility, a hatred. Do you not hate evil? Do you not hate wickedness? Do you not hate these pedophiles and horrible people? I do. And it's amazing to me that of all these sex determination systems, it is 100% in all pythons and boa constrictors. Now, I just find that to be extraordinarily fascinating don't you i mean think about it i'm and again i'm not saying that humans are walking around with a serpent seed in them it is supernatural it is a dna thing why do you think these scientist sorcerers can't figure out what 95 percent of your dna is they know full well what it is and so does this guy. And that's why you see this manifesting so quickly in the world. I mean, these satanic temples and whatnot are growing leaps and bounds. Because people want to be able to think that they can just do whatever they please. And still not have a price to pay. It's just bizarre beyond imagination. But these are the things that we have been tricked into for eons since the beginning. You got to understand this stuff. You notice that they use two V's instead of the W. The W, the W is the 23rd letter in the alphabet. The X, Satan, Lucifer, Baphomet wants a non-sex. He wants to destroy God's system. God's beautiful 
man, woman, faithful, true, upright, moral system is the contamination has become just overwhelming. Humanity has given themselves to this. Do what thou wilt. That's just as simple as that. And all these things we see are just manifestations of it. Of the system being born, essentially, onto the earth. He is claiming his territory. You understand what I mean? Dividing God's creation. That's been the plan from the beginning. Divide and conquer. And if you are not in the spirit of God, in other words, you need to know who God is. We see the evil. We know that there's a, an evil spirit in this world. That's what that hatred is. You hate it. That's the enmity that God gave you. It's your weapon. It's your tool. It gives you the ability to recognize it and turn from it. Repent from it. That's all that means. Change your mind. Do not partake in this system of darkness. It's that simple. Never saying it's easy to do. But it's easy to wrap your mind around. But you need to know that this is a supernatural battle. It's a spiritual battle that is literally raging within you. I hope that makes sense. I truly do. I'll link everything I showed you here. And I suggest you, you really do do a deep study. Do a deep study of Genesis. The creation. And, you know, try to not be so embedded in what we've been taught. Because I was one of them guys that sought out truth for years. My goodness, I, I lived down in the desert southwest with the natives. The whole shebang, the ayahuasca, the mushroom, you name it. I mean, I've been there, done that. And I avoided the word of God because that's what Satan wanted me to do that's his job is to get you to believe that this is some fictional fairy tale where there isn't one historian throughout all of history that could prove one jot or tittle of this text wrong or false it's history you should read it but you're not going to understand it until you know that you're seeking it humbly you're repenting from the evil. You're rebuking it. You see it. You shine your light on it. And you turn from it. And you live differently. That's when the word of God comes alive. And that DNA, that enmity, just flips over. And that evil entity that battles within you is evicted. He's gone. You're no longer his prisoner. And these things just become tools because we know, we know the evil behind it. And that's how you repent. And that's how you turn your life and your world and your very eternity around. It's an amazing thing, folks. I'm just telling you, I've been down the trails, been there. And this is what is being shown to me as truth. 100% historical biblical truth and I sincerely hope that this makes a lick of sense to y'all stay away from the iPhone X okay peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
Wherefore take unto you the whole armour of God, 